Hi, I'm Ramona Escricaro. And I'm Jennifer Van Leeuwen. And we're Cloud Migration Managers at Atlassian. Today, we're going to walk through some tactical guidance for migrating to Atlassian Cloud products. We'll start with an overview of what Cloud Migration Managers do before jumping with additional information about gaining alignment with internal stakeholders, how Atlassian can help, and building a migration runbook. We manage a lot of successful cloud migration, so we'll also share what we learn along the way. First, what are cloud migration managers? Our goal is pretty straightforward. Deliver a cloud migration experience that maximizes coverage, predictability, confidence, and reliability. The degree to which migrators will need CMM support depends on the complexity of the migration and factors like number of users, apps, and products you're migrating to the cloud. Regardless, we support both non-enterprises and enterprises, provide migration resources, and help to address any roadblocks if they arise. We also feed migrator feedback and insights gleaned throughout the process back into the business. In that way, we're always working to improve the migrations experience, as well as the tools and support that Atlassian provides. We have experts in place to help you at every step of your migration, from assessment to getting up and running in cloud. However, not every migration will need the same level of support. For non-enterprise and less complex migrations, you should be able to plan for and execute your migration using our online resources and migration tools with targeted guidance from our team at the time of need. Non-enterprise migrations tend to fall in the low to medium complexity ranges and in general can be assessed by size. Alternatively, an enterprise migration tends to be more complex by nature. Typically, an enterprise migration involves migrating four more products or 10 or more apps, resulting in the need for more strategic guidance and end-to-end -end strategy from our team. If your users are in the four-digit numbers, there's also a very high likelihood that you qualify as an enterprise migration. For enterprise migrations, our team will work with you throughout your migration journey, discussing your organization's goals, helping to define success criteria, and ensuring you're following best practices for success. To get in touch with the CMM, you can submit a support ticket on support.atlassian.com. Be sure to designate migration support in the dropdown, and your request will enter a separate migrations only queue. That way, we can get you the timely migrations-focused support that you need. Next, let's talk about getting your internal stakeholders on board. We say it a lot, migrating is a team sport, so it's important that you put your internal migration teams together as soon as possible. As with any strategic change in your organization, the earlier and more in deep you plan and bring the right stakeholders into the fold, the smoother the process will go. Grab the people you need, block off their schedules, and set expectations as early in the process as possible so that everyone can hit the ground running when it's time for them to take on a test. Here are some of the roles and responsibilities we often see take part in successful migration. As with most things, the roles you'll need to account for will depend on the complexity of your migration. Small businesses, for example, might have a single project manager who can also handle the technical side of things. A few important stakeholders to call out here are, the executive sponsor is your connection to leadership and typically handles budget approval, approves your business case, and may be the company's Atlassian or cloud champion. Someone from your security team should be involved early to make sure the migration plan meets all security standards and to keep security from being a blocker later in the process. Compliance and legal are also common blockers later in the migration process. So bring in your legal compliance and security teams early to make sure things run smoothly. Atlassian is here to partner with your internal teams and help you migrate to the cloud. Here's an overview of some of the support, resources, and tools that are available as part of the Atlassian migration program. The cloud migration manager team is one piece of the support and guidance you receive from Atlassian as part of your migration. We also have plenty of online resources and documentation to help get you on your way, 
including the Cloud Migration Center within the Atlassian website that should be your first stop for all things migrations. We're also investing in tools that help customers move to cloud and get settled in cloud. First, the Cloud Migration Trial. We built this functionality out of customer feedback that the standard seven-day trial isn't enough time to explore cloud and migrate. So now you can start a free cloud migration trial that matches the remaining duration of your current server or data center license. We always advise those who are considering a migration or who want to get started to activate a free trial first, which you can do through the Cloud Migration Center on Atlassian.com. In March, we launched the beta version of the JIRA Cloud Migration Assistant. Now you can migrate users, projects, and data from server to cloud in a simple step-by-step -step process that increases flexibility and transparency compared to the previous export and import process. The JIRA Cloud Migration Assistant also includes app assessment, which you'll hear more about in a moment. The Confluence Cloud Migration Assistant is a free app for server and data center that allows you to easily move multiple spaces to cloud at once, migrate users and groups, and monitor progress on the back end without disrupting your teams. App assessment functionality within CCMA not only lets you review app availability, but now also displays app usage and migration paths to help make more informed decisions about migrating apps. Apps can be a super important part of how teams get work done. So we recommend that migrators download the Migrations Assistant and begin using app assessment early to figure out app availability and cost ahead of time to avoid any unnecessary surprises. First, get started quickly with a simple view of all of your server and data center apps. Instantly obtain a simple, easy to use report of all of your current apps including basic information such as app name, the number of pages it appears on, the number of viewers, cloud availability, and migration pathways. Next, identify which apps your teams are actually using that you will or will need to move, migrate to the cloud. You can easily view which apps are the most used and which apps are not being used as often and perhaps don't need to be migrated. Clean house and get rid of apps your team isn't using. Identify if there is a cloud equivalent for your apps and potential alternatives. You can save time from manually looking up apps. Data is pulled automatically from Marketplace to check if there is a cloud equivalent for your apps in the Atlassian Marketplace. If your app doesn't exist, you can now search for alternatives directly through the app assessment tool. Once you've identified the apps to migrate, understand the potential differences between versions. Once you've completed assessing your apps, you can start the migration process. App assessment also includes error checking and pre-flight checks to make sure that your migration is successful with as little data loss as possible. In addition to our tooling, migration runbooks are another big part of the migration process. Every team will have a migration runbook, but the deep of what's included will depend on the complexity of your migration. Here is an example of what a migration runbook looks like. But what exactly is it? A migration runbook is a set of steps that helps ensure the success of your migration and minimize the change of potential issues. Runbooks detail the clear step-by-step -step plan that you'll follow during your actual migration. They also document workarounds for any potential issues you identify during testing. Again, what's exactly included depends on your migration, but here are a few things we typically see in migration runbooks. The apps assessment, the pre-migration checklist, your step-by-step -step migration plan, user acceptance test, and your post-migration checklist. So now you know a little bit more about executing a migration. What have we learned from migrations that we've been a part of? Atlassian products are highly customizable, which means that every migration is unique. Your organization has its own way of working with your own customized workflows and apps that you've chosen to integrate with. It's important to consider all aspects of your environment, including your customizations and apps, as you plan for the migration to the cloud. Each migration will need its own personalized strategy. 
Our team and online resources are there to guide you through the key phases and considerations at each step. The first step to any migration is understanding your current landscape and where you're headed. Involving your stakeholders early in the process is key to the overall success of the migration. Migrating to cloud will have an impact on your user's experience and workflows, as well as the key stakeholders throughout your organization. As early as possible, you should communicate with the people and stakeholders impacted by your move and enlist them to be part of the process. If you will need to rely on the resources of a team or a stakeholder, include them as soon as possible to ensure that you won't be blocked by their team. The buy-in of your end users is critical. So be sure to get them excited and get their feedback, input, and help. Your users are closest to the work and can help you as you test to identify any improvement areas needed before go live. You want your production migration to be as smooth as possible, so it's critical that you don't skimp on testing. The testing process gives you the opportunity to work out the step-by-step -step details of migrating and identify any trouble spots while you aren't under pressure. Your test migration also gives you good insight into how long the actual migration process will take and work out accurate timelines and plan for the appropriate downtime. During your test migration, you'll have an opportunity to build out your migration runbook so you'll have a detailed plan for the real thing. Migrations can be a complex undertaking and involve lots of moving parts. The Atlassian Migrations team is here to be your guide throughout the journey, no matter how big or small. Depending on your team's level of expertise, your migration complexity, and your timeline, Atlassian Solution Partners can also be invited to join your team. We recommend working with the partner if you have a more complex migration or need assistance executing on the guidance of our support team. Teamwork makes the dream work. 